From Faco to Mako, nerds are passionate about a lot of things, but there's something they love above all else, and that is correcting people. This is Um Actually. Joining us today, we have Adam Lustig. Hello. And Dan Black. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> He's the bad boy in the group. And of course, Jackie Cation. Hello and welcome to my seat. <laughs> uh, so if you haven't played it with us before, I have here a stack of statements. These are false statements about the franchises that are nearest and dearest to your hearts, or if not your hearts, uh, someone's. Uh, some, some fandom is deeply passionate about the things I, I'm going to be talking about here. Uh, and it's up to you to find the thing that's wrong and correct me. And there's like two rules. The first is that uh, all your corrections must be preceded by the phrase, um, actually. If you don't say, um, actually, you won't get a point. Uh, the second is that you can interrupt me at any time just like in real life. <laughs> it doesn't matter what I'm trying to say. What's important is that you stop any wrong thing that I'm saying to prove how smart you are. If you feel ready to jump into this? Yes. I feel like a million bucks. Um, actually, we've already begun. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you best start believing in game shows. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. First question is about Battlestar Galactica. The surviving humans aboard the Galactica are under the constant threat of attack from the Vorlons, a race of cybernetic organisms intent on destroying the 12 colonies of humanity. <laughs> Jackie. They're not Vorlons. Um, actually, <laughs> they're not Vorlons, but I can't remember what they are. I will give you the point unless someone can tell me what they are. Um, actually, <laughs> they're Vorna clocks. <laughs> they are not Vorna clocks. No. <laughs> um, actually, they're not Vorlons nor Vorna clocks. Uh, it's pronounced Vorna crocs. <laughs> yeah, it's it's all about the pronunciation. That's right here. It's like you gotta you gotta make sure that you like you you like respect their language. French derivative. Uh, yeah. No, that's incorrect. Uh, um, uh, uh, Jackie, we're gonna go ahead and give you the point. Yes. They're not Vorlons. They're Cylon. Cylons, Cylons. are Battlestar Galactica. Moving along. This is about American gods. American gods. Okay. All right. While Shadow Moon is nominally on the side of the old gods, they are not necessarily paragons of virtue. Mr. Wednesday is a liar, cheat, and grifter. Mad Sweeney is a drunken brawler, and Bill Quist, goddess of love, slits the throats of men who sleep with her. Jackie. She doesn't slit the throats, doesn't she consume them? Uh, yes. Um, actually, <laughs> no! Um, actually, she consumes them. <laughs> you know what? I jumped the gun on saying yes, but you know what? Dan's gonna swoop in there and steal it. Oh, no, man. no chivalry. Look, there's one, right. there's one rule in this game, uh, and I'm constantly forgetting that it's like, yo, yeah, I have to say I'm actually, yeah. It's the only rule. <laughs> Can you be specific in, in the manner in which she consumes them? Oh, yeah, of course, with a fork and knife. <laughs> <laughs> and that couldn't be farther. Bilkas actually uh, consumes them through her vagina while they have sex. Hey, now. Yep. Yeah, but inside there's a fork and knife. Have you been inside her vagina, you I, creep? I can't say that I have. Sorry. Yeah, well, if you get up in there, there's a full silverware set. Here they go. <laughs> this is a question about pro wrestling. Oh, I got this. In the fall of 1990, a giant egg appeared at professional wrestling events across the country before eventually hatching at the Survivor Series, revealing the Red Rooster to the delight of the crowd at Hartford. Connecticut. Uh, actually, it was New Haven, Connecticut. Uh, no, no, <laughs> that's very, very funny. It's like you idiots, <laughs> you're in the wrong particular town in Connecticut. Uh, Stan, I, I'm blanking, but it's, um, actually, it's not the Red Rooster. It was the Red Turkey. <laughs> it was the, not the Red Turkey. It's very funny how close you've gotten. Gobble something. You're on it. You're that. Ah, <laughs> um, actually, it's the gobbledygook. You. Damn it, I know what this is, but like... I'm gonna say that's close enough. It wasn't the Red Rooster, it was the gobbledygooker. Yeah, see, yeah, see, I know what this is. I'm just blanking on it. I always say okay. I'm a professional wrestling fan, not a historian. Sure. Yeah. This yeah. game is definitely gonna ask you to dig deep sometimes. I'm being like, what the fuck yeah, was that thing? The first event I saw was 91 in Nassau Coliseum. So the gobbledygooker predates you? Gob yeah, but in wrestling fandom, Lore. it's kind of like a throwaway reference. Like yeah. the gobbledygooker, but yeah. I never knew how to say it. Uh, yeah, I love that it's just like, you know, this giant turkey that everyone just hated immediately. <laughs> like, it's like, here it is, You're, you've been waiting for it to have like all this build up to yeah. like a, a thing that just flops so hard. It's yeah. just like, it's like, why is it a big turkey? It's funny, I never looked that up. I always heard of it and I never like hit YouTube for that. You didn't hear Gobbledygooker and it's like, I gotta know more. <laughs> <laughs> This is about Batman. In the Dark Knight Returns, Batman and Carrie Kelly, the next Robin to follow Jason Todd, face off against a gang called the Mutants, genetically altered criminals terrorizing Gotham City. Dan. 
Um, actually, <laughs> they're not genetically altered. That's correct, actually. Because yeah, oh. they have like a patch, right? They're, they're called the mutants, but they're not actually mutants. They no, just call themselves I did the know, mutants. I read that. It's Frank Miller, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No. This brings us to our first shiny question now. Shiny questions are just like shiny Pokemon. They're basically the same, except they're just a little bit different and a little bit rarer. Oh. This is a game called Order Up. Magic the Gathering, one of the oldest and most venerated CCGs of all time, has many cards, almost all of which cost mana. With the mana cost removed, please order these cards from the most expensive to the least expensive. And go. Oh man, all right. Uh, Jackie's buzzing Jackie. in. Jackie! Oh no! Oh man. All right, that is incorrect, I'm sorry right. to say. Oh, no. <laughs> Jackie's brute forcing her way to the answer. How many possibilities could there be? Mr. Trap, Mr. All Trap. Right. What do we have here? Yep. That is incorrect. I'm totally incorrect. To Good. Damn. <laughs> Dan, this is correct. Yay! Let's go ahead and Wait, take a look at that. But I actually forgot what time walk costs because I don't have $9,000 to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Dan, you have uh, Black Lotus first with zero mana. Yeah. Land of War Elves uh, is one green. Time walk is a blue and a colorless. Ball Lightning is three red. And Sarah Angel is two white and three colorless. Uh, so that point goes to Mr. Dan Black. Congrats, Dan. <sighs> you also raise an important point, which is the, uh, like the the cost of magic, which is just like, I played magic very deeply for middle school, early high school, yeah. like right around there. And I stopped when my older brother um, insisted on playing with a very expensive deck and beating me every time. Yeah. And I was like, well, I don't have this money, and I, you're the only other person I can play yeah, against. Yeah. So, yeah. This game is rigged. It's a problem in magic. I learned how to play magic because uh, the guy who booked the local comedy club played magic. Oh. And I was like, oh, well, we're going to be friends. <laughs> that, that's the dork version of like uh, getting good at golf and like making yeah. a business deal <laughs> on the golf course, you know? Like, yeah. um, actually, it is exactly that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We made some mistakes in the last episode and you caught them. Here they are. At Daniel Blade says, um, actually, General Grievous was not the leader of the Separatist Army. He was the Supreme Commander of the Droid Army. In fact, the Separatist Army is not a real thing, as the proper name is the Confederacy Military. He holds a leadership position amongst, and then he goes on for several more tweets. Only one point for you. You should have kept it to one tweet. From our dropout Discord, TPG says, um, actually, you alluded to the Halo rings being built by the Forerunners to destroy their enemies and assert control over the galaxy when it was built as a failsafe to destroy all organic life in the galaxy, so the Flood couldn't occupy any hosts and survive. Very pedantic correction, but that's what this is all about. One point for you. Ghostrod12343 says, Um, actually, Matt spoke about how the Silvered Weapon wouldn't affect Pit Fiend, but it would. Silvered Weapons bypass the resistance Pit Fiend has to non-magical weapons, but it will still hurt the dang thing. That's correct, a pointy thing will still do damage. This is about Back to the Future. After successfully getting his father and mother together at the Enchantment Under the Sea dance, Marty returns to the Hill Valley of 1985 to discover his father has become a successful author, and that this version of 1985 has happy and prosperous versions of himself, his brother, and his sister. Jackie. Um, actually, he didn't get his parents back together, but his father got th him together when he chose to confront the rapist. I mean, that's not what we're going for, but I can't say that that's incorrect. And, uh, uh, I would also say, I'm not certain that it was called Hill Valley. It was Hill Valley. It was no. Hill Valley. <laughs> um, Dan. Um, actually, he only has one sibling. Uh, no. No, he's got two. You, you, you can watch them both photo. fade away. Yeah, yeah. Um, actually, Dan, have you ever seen the film? This <laughs> <laughs> is where things turn ugly. Like, you don't know that. I don't know it either, but you yeah. don't know bigger <laughs> things. <laughs> <laughs> that is my favorite Eddie Murphy film. <laughs> <laughs> the correction we're going for here is that there is no happy version of Marty when he returns. He's just Marty. There oh, is, right. he, he is a Marty from another timeline who suddenly is now just implanted into this new one. He shares no memories with yeah. these versions of his brothers right. and sisters. They probably knew a very happy Marty who like was living an idyllic like life with them and suddenly they have this like surly <laughs> other timeline Marty just sort of zapped into Marty's body who's like taking over it. Yeah. yeah yeah. No one deserves any points, you're correct. Yeah. Hey, you know what? A points point to you for Mike. me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is about comics. Superheroes and supervillains often choose aliases that are descriptive of their special powers, but some are maybe a little too obvious. Like Matter Eater Lad, who can eat any kind of matter. Arm Fall Off Boy, whose arm falls off. Eye Scream, whose eyes scream magic spells. And Dog Welder, 
who welds dogs to people. I, I, um, actually, ice cream power is that ice cream comes out of his eyes. That is incorrect, but you are correct that ice cream is the problem here. Oh, okay. um, oh, so unless someone can, can tell me what ice cream actually does, I'll give you the point. Uh, um, actually, ice cream, what he does is he screams for ice cream. I mean, I can't say that he doesn't do that, but that's not his power. <laughs> do, you have a, do you have a guess? Uh, okay, I, I would say, um, actually, ice cream's true superpower is being able to remove his or her, his eyes, uh -huh. and the eye itself has vocal cords of its own, and maybe it screams. That is incorrect, yeah, too. Totally. We'll give the point to Dan. Uh, <laughs> you were pulling points out of, who knew you'd be so good at this game? A prodigy, you know almost. <laughs> uh, it's and, unbelievable. Um, actually, for, if, in case you want to know, ice cream has the ability to turn into any flavor of ice cream cool. that he wants. That's cool. Wow. And then how, how is that a superpower? <laughs> that, is that a boom comic? Who, who's publishing this? I don't know enough about ice cream to uh, really it's, dig it's into it. It's Dark Horse. It. it can't be Dark Horse. It's Dark Horse. It's, uh, it's, yeah, it's Vertigo. It's a really serious... <laughs> it's, uh, it's crazy that they sink like hundreds of millions of dollars into something called Ant-Man. <laughs> like you don't really know what's gonna hit. And like, cause like all these other, all the other ones I listed are true. Like there is a Matter Eater Lad, Arm Fall Off Boy, and Dog Welder are all real. Arm fall dog off Welder? Arm dog fall welder. Off Who welds dogs to people? That's correct. Dog Welder. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> he welds dogs to people. I don't, I don't know where the confusion no. is. <laughs> it's a trope now. <laughs> This is about the comic series Saga. The story of Saga follows the adventures of Marco and Alana, two soldiers from the planets of Wreath and Landfall respectively, who fall in love despite generations of interplanetary war that precede them. They live on the run from their respective governments, trying to keep themselves and their newborn daughter Hazel safe, along with their ghostly babysitter, Isabel. <laughs> She's going for it, Jackie. Um, actually, they're on the run from their respective governments, but they're mostly on the run from the Empire, and the interplanetary war is a construct from a third party. Go, Jackie. Go, Jackie. I like where you're going, but I... I I'm uh, also wrong. But I, I don't, I don't <laughs> it's I not say what you're going I don't think that you could say that that's correct, because the Empire still aligns itself. You know, like, they're, they're aligned with either Wreath or Landfall. So they are right. still on the run from their respective governments, even though there would be allies. Um, actually, Alana isn't a soldier herself. She's a teacher. Oh, she's a soldier. Okay. Cool. <laughs> um, actually, only one of them is on the run. Now, they're both The other on one's the just run. along for the love quest. Yeah. <laughs> love quest. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm going to say that, that no, one, no one got this, unless some... Uh, um, actually, Gobbly Gooker. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. The Gobbly Gooker is a major part of this. Um, no, this is, a, this is a super pedantic one. I said they're from the planets of Wreath and Landfall, but Wreath is the moon of Landfall. Duh. It is not a planet. Uh, in fact, uh, they're referred to as moonies several times throughout yes. uh, the series. It is not a planet. It is their moon. That is you super know, specific. Super <laughs> specific. That is really, really that. brutal. Re really, really because annoying. Because I love Saga so much. Much, and I'm just like, I know all those things. Those are all yeah. true. That, where's the error? It's like, that's not an adverb, it's an adjective. Jackie, yeah. if you correct someone for something like that, yeah. that means you're gonna have no friends. <laughs> <laughs> if someone said he's from the planet of this, you go, know, actually, it's a moon, your friends leave it. Um, actually, yes. that would be the game. <laughs> that's the spirit, that's the, the, the 100% of the spirit of the game. It's like, oh, it's yeah. like well, I don't wanna talk about the things that are fun about this, I wanna make sure you're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, uh, unfortunately, no, no points anyone in that. Shoot, oh. shoot. This brings us to our next shiny question. This is a little game we call Spelling Bee. <laughs> Spelling in English is hard enough. Spelling in sci-fi and fantasy is damn near impossible. Oh, oh there's my God. lots of consonants, there's apostrophes, <laughs> there's there's crap you wouldn't expect to see anywhere Backward else. C. Uh, weird accent marks, there's <laughs> stuff. So we're gonna ask you to spell something from sci-fi or fantasy. Standard spelling bee rules apply here, so please say the name before and after you spell so I know when you're done. You're allowed to ask me to use it in a sentence or to ask what property the word is from. Your word is Mixies Pitalik. <laughs> I'll say that again. Mixies Pitalik. All right, um, I'm actually Mixius Pitalik. Uh -huh. Can you repeat it? Can I hear it, in a, hear it in a sentence? Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. Though Superman has many formidable foes, such as Lex Luthor or Brainiac, perhaps none is more powerful than the impish extra-dimensional entity known as Mr. Mixius Pitalik. Poof! <laughs> it's a proper noun. It yeah. is proper noun. Uh, okay. Mixius oh. Pitalik. Uh -huh. M-I-X-I-A-S-P-I- <laughs> T I L I Q U Ooh. Capital E. Oh, nice. <laughs> Mixius Pitalik. That is highly incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jackie. 
<laughs> Mixius Pitalik, uh, M-Y-X, a bunch of Y's, a bunch more consonants, and then an exclamation point. <laughs> <laughs> Mixius Pitalik. <laughs> so I'm sorry. That, that, that is also incorrect. That is also incorrect. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, yeah. Mixius Pitalik, yeah. uh, capital M-I-X-I-O-U-S, capital P-I-D-D-L-E-L-I-C-K. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, that is incorrect okay. as well. Okay. So the correct Please. spelling, it's M-X-Y-Z-P-T-L-K. That's it. That's Almost it. That's no it. That's vowels. It. That's, it. That's it. It threw Superman a couple of times. Yeah. Yeah, it was hard. He was checking in and was just like, what is it again? Yeah, he's pretty vowel-based. <laughs> yeah. He's a superhero. He's a monster at Starbucks. They're just like, I, what is the name again? Like, it's like, I can't believe they spelled it wrong. Like, These goddamn baristas. Mike, just Mike. Yeah. yeah. God. Now, we're not perfect either, and you may have noticed something that we got wrong here on the show. If you want to correct something that we got wrong, tweet us at umactuallyshow. We might even give you a point. Remember, points are worthless, but might make you feel a little better. All right, this next statement is about Sandman. Dream of the Endless, known by other names such as Morpheus, Oneros, or the Sandman, has two brothers, Destiny and Destruction, and four sisters, Death, Desire, Despair, and Delirium. Although, at one time, Delirium was known by the name Delight. It's getting really hard. Sorry, I'm throwing some stumpers in here. Um, actually, Despair is a half sister, different mom. Nope. No, <laughs> I, uh, yes, Jackie. Um, actually, there is no destruction. Wouldn't that be nice? Uh, there is a destruction. Yeah, <laughs> but, but yeah. There is a destruction. A world okay. without destruction, yeah. you guys. Um, actually, she didn't go by delight. Uh, she did. Yeah. She went <laughs> Denise. It was called Denise. Denise. Yeah. yeah. Denise. <laughs> Call me delirium now, Dad. Yeah. I'm delirium. It's not a phase. I'm not Denise anymore. I'm delirium. <laughs> dream, desire, and Denise. Denise. Yeah. <laughs> desire is not Dream's sister, technically. Because desire is an agender, omnigender, uh, pangender entity. Desire is, is constantly shifting between genders, so hard to say. Yeah, I'd be like, Mike, <laughs> Mike, leave the party. Yeah, yeah. Come on, no, guys, this is important. No, Mike, leave the party. We're all trying to discuss I Neil Gaiman. Make sure that you're enjoying it the same way I do. <laughs> Correctly. We're Correctly. Trying to, yeah. There's yeah, only yeah. one way to enjoy a thing, and it's getting all the facts straight. <laughs> you notice there was no wake for desire. You know, there yeah. was a wake for dream. Uh -huh. There was a, the wake for desire, because you know who killed desire was apathy. And I'd like to move on. <laughs> <laughs> this is about the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Black Panther, the superheroic alter ego of Prince T'Challa, makes his first appearance in the Marvel Cinematic Universe in Captain America's Civil War. His solo film, shot domestically in Atlanta, Georgia, and internationally in Argentina, Wakanda, and South Korea, stars Chadwick Boseman reprising the titular role. Um, actually, there is no Wakanda. <laughs> That's correct. Wakanda doesn't actually exist. Yes! There's no real country called Wakanda. It's very sad, quite honestly. That is where all the adamantium comes from. You know how uh, Captain America's shield is made out of adamantium? Yeah. Black Panther's entire costume is made out of adamantium, so fuck you, <laughs> Yeah. everybody. You just, like, woven yeah. through the fibers? I don't think you know this about Wakanda, but they are technological geniuses. Yeah. And uh, they can make a, a, a supple... Um, vibranium. And that's like, that's white privilege there, right? That like Captain America is like, oh, your shield's so great. Everyone it's loves entirely, your shield. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You know, the whole suit and everyone's the just like, The whole suit, so yeah. best of luck yeah. fighting the Black Panther. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and this brings us to our last shiny question. Okay. This is a game called What's Wrong With This Picture? In just a moment, we're going to put an image up on this screen. It will be up to you to tell us what is wrong with this image. First person to spot it and buzz in will get the point. You ready? Yeah. Let's put that up there. Yoda's not in the first movie. That's correct. Whoa. Yoda is popping up in the, oh, in the corner nice. there. What made me realize is the placement of Yoda is like, <laughs> why is he like, in like Han's armpit? <laughs> we definitely, like, we were trying to figure out, we were like, where do we put Yoda in this? Because it's like, it is like a very carefully arranged tableau. And it's like, hey, don't forget. <laughs> I saw him too, and I did not re remember. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't realize. Yeah. yeah. The funny thing is that I spent my first minute, whatever, 30 seconds checking the spelling of all the. So did I. <laughs> yeah, me too. I was looking at the credits. Yeah. Uh, that is 100% something we would have done. Yeah. So it was a, it was a good instinct. Um, but no, no, right image. Uh, so that's a point for Dan. Good work, Dan. Uh, uh, you were destroying. Really nice. As always, our last question of the game concerns real life skills. These are skills that are just handy, IRL. They have nothing to do with any of the properties we've talked about. 
Ticks are blood-sucking ectoparasites found all over the world, including here in California. Ticks also carry diseases like Lyme disease, Rocky Mountain spotted fever, and typhus. Luckily, ticks are fairly easy to remove by using tweezers to pull and twist the tick off your skin. Um, actually, I got bit by a tick. Uh... <laughs> this is your Full version stop. of, like, I read it, it's Frank Miller. <laughs> I know ticks, yeah, I've been bitten by a ton of ticks. <laughs> well, I don't know how technical we're gonna get here, but when you get a tick, you actually can't just pull it right out, because its head digs into the skin. Mm -hmm. so you have to put Vaseline to suffocate it out, oh. and then its head has to come out of the skin. Right. Then you can, tweezers. then you can take it with a tweezer. Tweezers. But okay. you can't just do it because if the head gets stuck in there, uh, then the poison will, will stay in. I'll give you the point, uh, but I will point out, it's a sort of a bit of folk medicine that you want to put Vaseline on the tick. Partly because, like it will work, but it takes a long time. Then you have to kind of like wait for the tick to uh, come like, out. suffocate a little bit. Well, you want to get that tick off you as fast as you can because they do carry these diseases. Not really? Yeah, yeah, because. Tell that to my summer camp. <laughs> <laughs> they left it in for like a half hour. I'm still covered yeah. in Vaseline. That is it for our game, our final <laughs> score here. Uh, unfortunately, zero for Mr. Adam. AKA Lostic, perfect. Yep. Seven for Dan Black. Nice. Two for Jackie. Join us next time for even more hyper specific pedantic corrections here on Um Actually. And they're like, we're not pulling it out right away. We gotta like make sure the head dislodges by suffocating it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's probably debunked at this point. Yeah. <laughs>